One of the modern father, uh, founding fathers of modern Assyrianism in the early 20th century. He was a teacher and a writer who emphasized the importance of unity among Assyrians. He spoke several languages, including Syriac, Turkish, and Arabic, Farsi, and French. Naam published and founded several influential magazines, in, including Kaukab Madhano, Ben Nahrin and Huyodo, a magazine that is still published today. His most famous poem is titled Awake, Son of Assyria, Awake. Um, Awake, son of Assyria, awake and see the world, how enlightened. The chance is fleeing from us, and time is running out. Awake, son of Assyria, awake. In vengeance you will take refuge. Rise up and band together to strengthen. And if one does not awake, we have lost our chance. Without a purpose, misfortune will befall our land. <laughs> Um tana yuta gare gare vesa gare macha ilana la gare mia ya vafla gare khamafla khud shemsha gare bakhulta ya kat amsa gare vesa akhnan atra ya dia kat burbizikh men atra da bahata yana natan lena raba gane atra ya bdayana raba mene lena fashura lishana hamzamile raba mene lena akhchi tanum dit kat gane atra ya bdayana ila gadrakla Akhan bayak kat yana bnatan yal pi atrai mayna mi katir u mut pus la kam sa akhna kulan khayda kulan awilan khaqala kat dan gashu ay boy ba ab at kha khurz abi mel ya la akhchi al khay sabab in la wilan umta in li shan anta al gakhla yana bit al gakhla ad ya khtof gashqitun masalan italian americans gab da atra bishma in italian american in li shan italian la na budaya اخشی یا سوره ایلا اخورگ او بار تردلا جنریشن انیزه بطلاق ادیا بیدا بیدا پلات دویت لمن اطرابات قد کل بیتا این آل اطرابات خارج من من آل سودا به هتن لیشان هم بطلاق لوگان هم بطلاق قد بده یه این انقیت دیالان قد خیوم عبه قد عبه اخشی دیدکیت بیا قیومت آتو قد همزم اخباست امتن قد علیمان علمیاتان اعتی شرکی یال پی خزی، آن یال بنات آتول خیلی نمود پس لباد نه می نبوده. مثلاً گف فاشن، گف انترتینمنت، بیزنس لیدر، گف پولیتیکس. او بیت اولان، او بیت اولان من دیانه خیلی قد بد دال باخ من آسیاتی، من مهندسیاتی، من کامپیوتراتی. قد یال بنات دیان خزی، قد لیلا اخشی، قد پیشی، گف گف 
هر خام دی اتن یال بنا تا اترایق قد شتبور نبی اترایته و قبده مطلابه قد هایری تو من شرکی تو گفتن خورزه و گف خورزم تنایه چه آبیت خوی عادت ویلا یا چه آبی ات کد پا و ای کد شت هست خو ایلا رابان قدر قد یال بنا تن خودی دیشان یا دیله بسبب کمد بوش گر وسع که آترایویتا بوش تابیلان خیلی آب خیلی دل خیلی ما به تابیلان نترکیم. Nationalism is a commitment to ideas among people, a group of people who share a common ethnicity, culture, language, and history, using symbols and ceremonies to espouse such ideas. Nationalism movements help bring people together to express a nation. Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for coming to our Assyria Day celebration. My name is Zerge Ahro. Some of you may know my father, Rabi Nino Sahro. I'd like to start by giving you a little background information on myself. I was born in Chicago and grew up between Massachusetts and Syria. When I say that to people, they're usually shocked by my last word because they expect me to say something like, I grew up between Massachusetts and Connecticut. When I was 11, my parents decided that we should move back to the Middle East to be closer to our roots and to experience a different way of life. The years we spent there were not without their trials. Imagine moving right now to a land that you had only heard about in distant stories where you don't know anyone and don't even speak the language. It was quite the culture shock, to say the least. But looking back, I consider it one of the greatest experiences of my life. It did bring me back to my roots, like my parents had hoped. It shaped me as a person, and it allowed me to gain a broader perspective on life and people of different ethnicities, religions, social standings, and nationalities. After attending an international school in Aleppo and a French fashion design college in Damascus, I returned to the US with my family. Eventually, I found myself in New York City, pursuing my dream of becoming a fashion designer. Through hard work, determination, and good old Assyrian stubbornness, I worked my way to the top of the industry, designing for labels such as Ralph Lauren, Swiss Army, and many others. Although satisfied with my career in fashion and very proud of the success I attained, last year I decided it was time to pursue a new career and another dream. I moved to California to be closer to my family and I'm currently on the path to my second degree, this time in social and public policy. I plan to work in the social sector, helping empower women and the underprivileged. I want to have a job where I do something fulfilling every day and I know that I will be able to make a difference in the world. Humanitarian work for me, of course, also includes Assyrian activism and making sure that our name lives on. As someone who grew up in a very nationalistic home, I've realized that there are a few things that are very important to me regarding our Assyrian heritage. Number one is language. We are nothing without our language, period. When we were kids, whenever we were playing with our Assyrian friends, our tongues would naturally turn to English. We couldn't help it. We all did it. Before, but there was a rule at our house. No English at home. Which made that kind of hard. Bubeito mezgelu siryoyo, englishoyo vimedrashto which means, at home, speak Assyrian. You'll learn English at school. Of course, we thought we could break the rules, but that also was not allowed. I remember once we had family friends over, all the adults were upstairs in the living room, and all the kids were playing downstairs in the basement, and all of a sudden, my dad opens the door and we hear him calling downstairs, which means I can hear English down there. When you're a kid, being told you're not allowed to speak the language everyone else in the country communicates in, it's annoying and you feel like it's unfair. But again, as an adult, in retrospect, you realize what an important factor it was. What would happen if we all stopped speaking Assyrian at home? If we all spoke to each other in the language of our current or past host countries, English, Swedish, Farsi, or Arabic, but not our mother tongue? We will lose our language, and I believe that if that happens, it is a very short road to losing our identity and ourselves. This generation has to continue speaking Assyrian, not just with our families, but with our peers. Those of you who have young children at home, I urge you to teach them Assyrian. 
and make sure that they speak it as much as possible so that it becomes natural to them. And when they grow up and have children of their own, they will teach them the same. Our language must live on. Now speaking of language, there's another point that I'd like to make. And that is the fact that sometimes, too many times, we as Assyrians cannot communicate with each other. For example, I speak Suryoyo. Um, most of the people here tonight speak Madlenkhaya. I truly feel sadness and frustration when I go to Assyrian events and I can only understand roughly 50% of what people are saying. And we all have to resort to English to communicate. Or when I have to tell someone, I don't speak this dialect of Assyrian, I speak the other dialect. I think it's a shame and I believe we should all make an effort to learn both dialects. It is something that with a little bit of work and time can be done. I personally have set a goal for myself to be able to speak Eastern Assyrian in one year's time. So by this time next year, I hope to be speaking to you in Madankhaya. If not political uh, speeches and so on, then at the very least basic conversation. Point number two is awareness. And by that I mean make others aware of who the Assyrians are. This can be as simple as when someone asks you what you are, say you're Assyrian. Don't take the easy way out by saying Arab or Persian or Armenian or I've heard things as crazy as Italian. <laughs> That's not one. Take five minutes out of your day to educate them. I can't count the number of times that I've told random strangers about where I'm from and who the Assyrians are. And usually the conversation goes something like this. I'm Assyrian. Oh, Syrian. No, not Syrian. Assyrian. We're the indigenous people of the Middle East before it was Arabic. And they get this perplexed look on their face and they, you know, they go, oh, okay. And some of them ask more and some of them just walk away. But for some people, you may have just made a difference for them to go and learn more about our culture. I feel it is our duty and the very least we can do to help our nation survive. A lot of times I get an answer of, I thought you guys didn't exist anymore. People think our nation is extinct and it is up to us to make sure that they know otherwise. Point number three to me is unity. One of the largest problems we face as a nation is our lack of it. For as long as I can remember, I've been hearing the same conversation. This group doesn't believe they're Assyrian, they think they're something else. That group goes to a different church, they're not as Assyrian as we are. This must stop. I grew up in a house where both my parents taught us that all Assyrians are one. Eastern, Western, Chaldean, Aramean, Catholic, Orthodox, no matter which country you were from, it didn't matter. We are all one people. There was no question about it, it was just a way of life. If you, How are we ever to expect to gain recognition from the Western world and have our own homeland if we do not present a united front? Think of how far other groups have been able to get by being united the Jews in securing a country, the Armenians in having the world recognize their genocide. We can do the same if we just put aside our differences and come together to work for common goals. The older generations need to start to mend their ways and the younger generations should avoid this divided thinking altogether so that we can come together as one people and one nation and move ourselves forward. I look out at the audience tonight and see so many young Assyrians full of promise. So many strong Assyrians who are descendants of the mightiest empire to grace this earth. You have the support of so many nationalistic men and women who came before you, and the strength of a nation that, despite everything that has happened to us and everything that we've been through, has survived for almost 7,000 years. Let's change it from just surviving to thriving. We can make that happen. Carry on the legacy. Do your part to make sure that in two generations, five generations, ten generations down the line, that the world still knows who we are. Become involved, take the lead, speak our beautiful language, and help us put our divisions behind us. The future of our generation really is in your hands. Be proud to be an Assyrian, because that is who you are, first and foremost. Los Angeles, Edgar Porasad, and Shlama Oligard Neumti Mugabe 
Men kam kjulle bojen të në mën të men shota botet Arturaj Los Angeles. Men Shervina Tash, këtë danë më titë la këtë tarët atë khale, ka atë në kjo me këtë. U vila masajet u djum, ju me gjëmba khalujdalë u hejgjah, al ju me të umë të Arturajta. E këtë në të këmënën ha vila në khajgjëmeta bush prishta me në gjëmaja të khine këtë i në gjëmëta. Nishën i le hageta dina jute u khejute u të nete u shota putët aturaja. Khamen nishën i le magzetet urkha la khumta kat nunën natën u djum kat kërje na u qullëshna u mëtje na u dukjane spaj bi au dvatet prishë prishë. Ehtan bojach urkha të khate u shabire mashkha ka amsak janë bënatën ma vërëhlun bi rrotet من تیت بیده هزون برانه بود اها واجبوت کل یالن ناتن ایلا آتی جمی خود خشکورا و یوی ایده بیده شکل تخمنیات اویداله پرشخ ارخ لخمته کد امسخ اوخ منتیانه کم تیت اها نیشه هر اخ بغزایتون Ehtan kjullën këtë gjëmje vëkë lëkha, dhirë vëkë këtë pëllëkëk bi shekhinuta, ma dhirë këtë ava hatin, ki masëk ava rrabë bëshrane, u mëgzirë shullane me në tjene, ahelë nishën të shutasit hujadet filaje aturaje gjë Los Angeles. Kjull khanashet bjajle ava hajrana, masë me këtë në shumbo, u ma dhilën bi më të shvila e të le më hirulta. A këmë vati, u këtë vati më gëbbe, her e këzi lohën, khasama gjura më në khurzën një vë bilishan të ngëlesh. E të le në hivi, e më nënë në natën këtë lëkha vjenë më njëmë, e këtë gjani, havi spaj për mi o nishën, o anizi ati shariki aman hajrila. A i të në rao basi me ka danohën, Ech bochon, et lihivi, et chazen ochon, jemdukta.